Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are still on the beach in Negril. We are going to be walking from the beach at Hedonism 2 to the beach at Sandals in Negril. And remember, Sandals and Hedonism too. They are in Negril, but they are in the parish of Hanover. <laughs> Got it? So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Now, in yesterday's video, I told you about an accident that took place in front of the Iberia Star Hotel Thursday night. A guy named Tajli, he died in that accident. By now, you should know how we do things over on this side. Our aim is to get to the truth, even if it means that we are going to be contradicting what we had said before. So, I've gotten a WhatsApp message from a PNL detective. The person is correcting a part of the story that I carried yesterday. The person is also giving us some additional information. Look on your screen. The person said, Good day, Papai. Blessings and thanks for the Wonderful work that you have been doing. I've been watching your videos from you were under 10,000 subscribers. Thanks for the service to Jamaica. The person went on. I must correct you on the report you carried yesterday regarding the accident that took place in front of the Iberia Star Hotel Thursday night. I was close by when the accident took place and I know the guy who died Personally, you had said that he was traveling westerly towards Montego Bay, but no, he was heading maybe to his home at Long Bay in an easterly direction. Also, an important factor which may have caused the accident and one which your report did not carry is the fact that Taj, he was racing with another guy who was driving a black Markex name mario and the worst thing is that mario and his baby mother and child were in the car i could hear the loud bang of the accident from where i was and i was quick on the scene what i gleaned was that mario he was racing and in front of taj mario's baby mother was the one who begged him to slow down and had to remind him that their baby was in the car. It was when he slowed down. Taj passed him and go collide in the Honda Fit that was leaving the hotel. Papai, the front section of the car, came off and the rest of the car was still going. It was when Taj collided into the metal pole. He was thrown from the car because he was not wearing his seatbelt. Papai. Taj had modified that car just for racing. Big engine, big muffler, you name it. Whilst many people will want to blame the lady. Trust me, the speed that Taj was driving at, I'm not sure if she really is to be blamed. I'm happy she's going to survive because Taj is the one who is to be blamed for this accident. Keep up the good work, Papai. I'm expecting you to reach half million subscribers very soon because you <laughs> are the talk of the town. So, you heard what the PNL detective said? And yes, yeah, man, I've verified that information. Sad indeed. And let's hope that this lady, she survives. In this next story, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, September 3, about 1.15. It took place at Delveland in the Little London Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. The police, they are alleging that they were on patrol in the area when they saw a group of persons in a yard close to the roadway. They are further alleging that a guy who later turned out to be Romeo Palmer. He's a 32-year-old truck driver and he's living in the same Delveland area. 
the police, they are saying that they saw when Romian, who was standing in the yard, he removed an object from his waistband and quickly gave it to another guy who was also in the yard. That guy, he later turned out to be Adrian Anderson. He's a 38-year-old security guard from the same area. The police, they are alleging that Adrian, who was seated on a chair beside Romian, he quickly took the object from Romian and placed it to the left side of the chair that he was sitting on and used his hands to cover it. When the police made checks, bingo. That object, it was found to be that gun on your screen. It is a Taurus 9mm pistol affixed with a magazine containing two 9mm rounds. As a result, both Adrian and Romian, they were arrested and charged by the police and they'll be going to the courts shortly. Westmoreland PIU team, <laughs> job well done. I'm told that this is the fifth gun that you guys are recovering in less than a week. Keep on doing the do. Still in the parish of Westmoreland. This one took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, September 3, about some minutes after 1 o'clock. It took place at Snow Supermarket in the Granger Square in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that three hoodlums wearing masks and armed with guns. They entered the supermarket, which is operated by some Chinese. They proceeded to rob them of a large amount of cash. We are also told that when the hoodlums were leaving the supermarket, they fired several shots in the air. They then made good their escape in a white Toyota Axio motor car. We are told that the police, when they processed this crime scene, they recovered 10 9mm spent shells from the scene. Also, another Chinese establishment was robbed earlier today at the Little London Square, also in the parish of Westmoreland. But in this incident, a lady was shot. Now, I'm going to be giving you the details into that incident in tomorrow's video. Stand by for that. The mayhem. Now, yesterday, I told you about that hoodlum on your screen. His name is Alonzo Vincent, but he's popularly known as Madded or Metro Boy. Metro Boy is only 23 years old. I told you that Metro Boy, he had been a hoodlum for a very long time. He shot and killed taxi driver Maurice Friday morning and robbed him of his Toyota Voxy. He was held shortly after he committed that crime by the police. The murder weapon was seized as also the Toyota Voxy that he had robbed from Maurice was recovered by the police. I also told you that Metro Boy, he had spent about 9 or 10 months in jail for robbery with aggravation and shooting with intent. I'm now finding out that it was a business place on Barnet Street that he had robbed and fired shots. But before that, yeah man, before that, Metro Boy, he spent almost 2 years in jail. In 2020, he had shot a taxi man twice and robbed him of his Toyota Corolla motor car. I am told that one of the bullets is stuck in that taxi man's neck. That taxi driver who was robbed and shot, he had reached out to me. I wanted to listen to this voice note from that taxi operator. I've distorted his voice and if it sound like the voice is not distorted, trust me. I don't play certain games. Listen to this voice note. Mr. Papa, I remember the date, but I know say it was a Wednesday. And it took place about 7.45 p.m. in the evening. Because I downloaded by Market Street, right at Scotia Bank. And I seen coming out like here. And I didn't want to carry him, I didn't want to carry him, but I see him coming like him, I didn't want to diss him to take him come out. And he was to come out for the road light. He told me to say, he was at the farm heights. And after I dropped off, 
e passa in tre e ma allora non si parla che è in a back e non si parla che è in a farm e non si parla che è in a farm e non si parla che è in a farm e non si parla che è in a farm e non si parla che è in a farm e non si parla che è in a farm e non si Tu non hai che avere un comodo, non hai che avere un comodo, papà è tutto shatto, non hai che avere un telefono, 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 non hai Metro Boy to this crime and get a conviction. So let's see if any judge is gonna grant him bail again. And you, Metro, <laughs> yeah, man, you, Metro, not Metro Boy, you, Metro, Metro Boy's father, be careful. Be ye careful. Some persons are vexed because they are saying that you love defend your criminal son. Too much. Be ye careful. In this next incident, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, September 3, shortly after 12 midday. It took place at a shop at Water Lane in the George's Plain area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, this is what we are learning. That guy on your screen. His name is Bruce Campbell, but he was popularly known as Prince Charm. He was born on August 19, 1993, and he lived at Water Lane. We are learning that yesterday was Prince Charm's sister's birthday, so she was keeping a little get-together at a shop. And by the way, by the way, at least two men, one of them is called Teddy, and the other one, he's called Cooley. They were shot and killed at or near that shop not long ago. Back to the story. Now, what we are learning is that Prince Charm, he was at the shop. Also at the shop was one of his friends known as Tech Nine. It is said that while they were at the shop, a guy who is known as Moki and a teenage girl who Moki is in a relationship with. They came to the shop. It is said that Moki, he went to Tech Nine and told him that me here say ya call up my woman name. As a result, an argument started. I'm not sure how Prince Charm he got into the argument, but the word is that some time ago, he Prince Charm, he had shot and injured Moki. But over time, things calmed down. It is said that Moki. He pulled a gun and he opened gunfire hitting Prince Charm to the right side of his chest, his right shoulder and his pelvis. Now, there are reports that Moki, he was shot also, but that has not yet been confirmed. So, I'm not going to be saying as yet who it is alleged might have shot Moki. There is also unconfirmed reports that the female who went with Moki, she too was also grazed by a bullet. Moki, he made good his escape and Prince Charm, he was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where he died whilst he was being treated. We are also learning that after the shooting, persons in the area, they picked up the spent shells. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to wait on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And if you notice, if you notice, we are now over 202,000 subscribers. We are heading to 250 by Christmas. Keep on telling a friend to tell a friend. If you come over here, so come subscribe. 
All right? Now, in the final story for today, that lady on your screen, her name is Lativa Simpson, but she's popularly known as Lati. Lati operated a sports bar and cash pot shop at Bay Road in the Little London area of Westmoreland. Now, I am definitely going to be updating this story tomorrow because there is a whole heap to say. Because over the past three months, Lati, she has been through a lot. Her place has been broken into. She had been shot at. Up to last week, she was robbed. Now, this morning, two hoodlums, they went to Lati's business place where they shot her. The hoodlums, they did not rob Lati. They went there with one intention, to kill her. So, tomorrow, I'm going to be giving you more details into that. But while the hoodlums were trying to escape after they had killed Lati, an alert motorist, he saw what was happening and he hit the two hoodlums of the bike that they were trying to escape on. The murder weapon, a 9mm pistol, fell from the hoodlums and they ran away into nearby bushes. But guess what? They did not reach far. An angry mob cornered one of them, tried him, found him guilty and sentenced him to death by chopping. The other hoodlum, he was rescued by the police. Watch this video. So, like I said, tomorrow I'll be giving you a more detailed report. But we were on the scene and I am to speak with the councillor candidate and the member of parliament. Look and listen to what they had to say. Mr. Reid, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, man, you are the Council so, candidate for the Little London Division. Okay. Yeah. Lati, tell me about her. Well, Lati, I, 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 I've known Lati for maybe about 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, from a little child, always a community person, always um, willing to help. Yes. E even about a week ago, she, she and, and I came together and we provide some back to school bags and books for the kids in the area. Yeah. So she yeah, she's really somebody who she how, la, how, how, how long she has been operating here so? She's been here for quite a while now, mm, about, okay. about, about five five years oh, okay. or so. Oh, okay. yeah. and oh my god man, you can't find a, a nicer person than Lati. So when I when I hear about the killing this morning? I, I, I was in Lucy mm -hmm. when I heard it, um about five five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So I left what I was doing and head straight here to mm -hmm. see what was what was going on. Okay. So how, yeah, tell me, how yeah. does this make you feel, sir? Oh my God, man, I, I, I'm, 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 I words cannot express how mm -hmm. I feel right now. Yeah. It shouldn't have happened like this. That it shouldn't have gone like this. Yes, yeah, yes. She, she deserves better. Yes. She, she, she is somebody who I'm telling you, the community can depend on. Oh, I really sad what is happening, though. It is very sad. It is very sad. As I said, she is a community person. People love that. Okay. All right, sir. Let's help yourself. Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, Mr. Moreland Wilson, you are the MP for the area. Um, where were you when you hear what, what took place? Well, I was heading to, we have a back to, um, a back to school health fair. Um, I know your numbers were going on in yes. London. So I was on my way there and um, I came here and saw the crowd. Yes. Um, it's a very sad occasion. I know Latin. You know her personally? I know her personally. Yes, um, yes. You know, it's somebody who I've visited and I know personally. I've, Come here during my campaigns and even after. Yes. So she's very loved by the community. As yes. You can see from the outpour of tears and. Yes. Um, she's a down to earth person, someone who everyone loves and connect with. Yes. Um, you know, it's a, it's a rural area. You know, the shopkeepers are known by everyone. So she's one of those persons. Um, so I just want to take this opportunity to express my condolences to the Lucky's family. Um, I know her brothers, mm -hmm. um, I know a few of her family members, 
just want to express sincere condolences and I just want to say to the police officers to do what they can to, to bring these perpetrators to justice. Um, this is something that is we, we don't want to continue to inflict on the community and crime is something that is against all of us mm -hmm. despite what we may do. Yes, thanks a lot sir. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah man, thanks a lot. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Papa News, News Link and PNL Blog TV. PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Oh, we care. Quick silver Jump, jump.